Hey guys, EnzoSS100 here. Welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. So today, I have a tutorial that makes use of the slowness potion effect to your advantage. Let's see what I've found. So what I've found actually is that uh, the slowness effect, uh, it zooms in your field of vision. So what I want to do is try and create some sort of binoculars, you know. Uh, when you get up to this platform, you actually see it zoomed in so you can see all these small types of paintings. So yeah, this and this module and that other module right there uh, helps with that. So this first one is really, really simple. It's just test for blocks and this, this tiled one and tiled all of that actually just detects the block right above this command, which has this thing called binoculars is a disk called binoculars and yeah um, this tests for if this dropper is the exact same as this dropper right here which is obviously empty and then if they are the same this comparator takes the output from the command block activating this piston and giving me slowness on repeat uh, which is 11 times amplified and then this um, this is an impulse command block that actually it's uh, powered already but the reason for that is because it should be powered to clear the effect so basically it unpowers activating giving me the slowness then I use that so that when I remove the slowness it retracts and clears the effects so yeah um, I have the shulker box here that also has the binoculars and uh, sorry for the slowness I have another module that's literally right there so if I place the binoculars there it still gives me the slowness and yes I can zoom in to see that painting right there that painting right there and all the small types of paintings so yes you can use slowness to your advantage with the with the right um, zooming of course and Actually, I was thinking about it. You can use it as a sniper scope because you can actually aim better with a zoomed-in vision towards mobs that are far away. So yeah, you could use it for that too. And the next, um, the next module that I'm going to show actually requires uh, knowledge from the first video, which if you want to check it out, Geeky, Com Geeky Commands Episode 1 uh, about the area debuffs and all. So yeah. Uh, same same module right here, just without the top layer. Uh, you got a test command for uh, specific coordinates, which is actually this block right here, uh, this one right here, and then it's testing for that and the radius of a. I think this box, entire box up to here, and then it has a comparator output attached to uh, two repeaters with the same thing impulse command that says clear. And then this one that checks for the record trip. And then um, this piston, which I actually posted on Twitter. If you want to follow me on the update to that module, I removed the observer and replaced it with redstone dust. Or for this case, I just moved the piston forward. And uh, it's attached to this redstone dust so that when this activates, this line also activates, powering off this torch. But then this piston gives me the slowness right there. So yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to find out what's new about the, uh, the module that I had on the first video, which is right over there. You can just see it way in the distance. Actually, if you think about it, I should just get my chirp record so we can zoom in on that. Hey, we're going to put it to use. So as you can see, uh, I don't know. Oh, wait. There you go. That's the module right there. We were talking about that one. So yeah. Uh, the slowness is actually really slowing me down. So the reason why you want to have the slowness is so that um, when you're on the platform and you don't have the disc yet, it'll just take the effect off. And that's the reason why you want to carry a shulker box so that you could carry it anywhere you want. So uh, yeah, that's basically what this module is. I want to have a larger scale version somewhere over there. Yeah, this is set up for a larger scale version of uh, the module that I have right here. Uh, this is a medium scaled version, I believe. Yeah, uh, I didn't use this one right here. It's way too small for what I'm thinking. So uh, I just use this medium sized one. This small one is just a test, but then uh, 
yeah, I thought of the module, placed it straight here and didn't use that. So I went to straight on to the medium sized one. And yeah, the large scale one over there, I'm going to have to update this video and see if we could use it for some sort of weird wacky stuff like climbing on top of buildings, zooming out like in Assassin's Creed with the eagle vision or some sort of hyper focus. So yeah, I've got some ideas for this area right here, which is why it's already marked out. Watch out for that video. It's going to be coming out sometime whenever, whenever I feel like it basically. So yeah. Uh, we got that and the reason the reason by the way that it's binoculars is so that if i put any sort of record chirp it's not going to give me the status effect well it's going to give the status effect for uh this module here but if i put it in here well it's not going to give me the status effect it doesn't test right why because it's labeled binoculars which is why i like the naming and i like this module is really small, but yeah, if you want to really uh, bring it around with you and not have stations filled with droppers so that you could um, use um, this kind of system, well, you're, go you're gonna have to use a shulker box. You're gonna have to use a shulker box, bring it with you everywhere, and yeah. Also, I've been thinking if we could use some sort of separate longer module well, uh, this module is really compact, and so is this one. But we could use a longer module wherein you drop the item and then replace item with milk or something so that it's just an impulse command. But yeah, we'll see if that update comes out. And I'm going to be updating this video when, it, when I'm able to think about that kind of solution. So yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you guys liked it, uh, consider leaving a like. And uh, if you have any suggestions, clarifications, and whatnot, leave it down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, as I said earlier, follow me on Twitter so that you can see any updates and sneak peeks. I released teasers for the video. I actually released a teaser which is showing this exact module right here. So if you want to know more about that, follow me on Twitter. It's in the description below. And as always, I've been EnzoSS100, signing off.